So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. The teams then, Paris Saint-Germain against Liverpool. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. And so the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Paris Saint-Germain shape up in a 4-3-3. Well, in this formation, the wide players can be the most attacking and sometimes a pair of extra fullbacks. making the difference here Ankel Di Maria um, he has an awful lot going for him a, a good dribbler a very good crosser a marvelous free kick taker and a range of passing that most midfielders would be proud of and he could play a prominent part I think the opposition defense agreed too he's going to be the source of so many of their headaches Di Maria superb goal listen the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where, and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Liverpool didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Cavani. Rabio tries a through ball. Di Maria tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Firmino. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. it out there really wasn't very much in that Not far away from being a telling final ball look the game is full of ifs and buts if only the the pass could have completed its journey now it's Roberto Firmino Marco Verratti, aimed long and direct, Neymar, looks to slip it through, lovely little display of skill that is, whistle's gone, that's a foul, Chan sticks in a foot to win it back, it's a loose ball, now it's Neymar, he's left his man, that's it, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough, full-contact contest. Now it's Neymar. He's gone away. Neymar. Cavani with a shot! Gorgeous from Cavani! And this is get 
getting better and better. What about that, Jim Beglin? And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Firmino. And Firmino! Oh, brilliant! That is brilliant! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. Unbelievable. And right on half time, that is telling. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Football, three goals and just one separating them. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half. So off we go once more. Liverpool don't need to press the panic button just yet. Have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. That's been won straight back. Money! He's got away with one there. Nothing. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Balls loose. Who's getting there? Going through. Can he put it away? Really well taken goal. They have come roaring back. are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. This has become one superb game of football. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. And Dyke hurtles into the tackle, in towards the middle. And Firmino! A great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Say truly wonderful goalkeeping. Up for a header! Went with his head. 
but couldn't steer it in. Now it's Neymar. And it's Thiago Motta. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. And the shot! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! And they get themselves in front! Oh, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves into the lead. Cavani. And Dyke gets it back. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Mane, Mane, he's had a go! Tremendous from Mane! You know, we may be looking at another classic here. I'm not going to guess what's going to happen next, but that is great togetherness and resolve. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. It's a real game here. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you just score. You can easily lose focus and then bang and take back again. Good ball. Firmino. Danger averted for now. Oh, checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As a result of that, he was most likely... Mane with a shot! <laughs> a potential goal of the season contender, if only. Mane may risk being accused of being a tad selfish. Not by me, though. It was good endeavour. That's it! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. The final whistle. Well, it's ended all square, but with their home leg to come, there's little doubt which side this favours now. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Liverpool can always take more positives from a result.